43-year-old Greg Gadsden had every right to sit things out. But he decided he wanted to live his life as normally as he could. That meant getting up off the bench and taking on a new challenge. What's the worst that can happen to me so I can fall? I've uh, found new humility in, in uh, having, to, having to try to conquer this. Gadsden is tough. He graduated from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He rose through the U.S. Army to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and is a former football player who no longer has the legs to carry him across a field. Gadsden is a double above-the-knee amputee. He was severely injured in 2007 when an explosion in Iraq, like this one, ripped apart his vehicle. I think anything is going to ever, at least in my lifetime, is going to really replace your legs. And so once you accept it, then, you, then you've got to decide what, what it is you want out of life. I'm gonna sit out. You can tell by the sweat on his face that this is hard work. The harness prevents him from a bad fall as he walks around the track at the Walter Reed Medical Center in Washington, D.C. He is one of 870 amputees at U.S. military hospitals who were injured in Iraq and Afghanistan. But Gadsden is the first to use the latest version of the Oser Power Knee. It's a prosthetic device that gives him greater mobility and a more natural motion when he walks. He says it's a vast improvement over the old prosthetics he has been using. Getting used to the motion of the power and the, the flexibility of the, of the feet on, the, on there were, was quite a trick. It's sort of like if you were driving a, a school bus and then someone put you in a sports car. His power knees are opening up new possibilities, even some things many of us take for granted. Be able to walk where I want to walk and not, and not be concerned about whether I have enough energy to go that far. Is that, is that, is that uh, too much effort for me to do? The Oser power knees will be offered to other U.S. military amputees before they become available to the public. Melinda Smith, VOA News. I don't need to use the power to get